Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And today, we are taking a look at the SkyTech Blaze 2 for $8.99. It's been a while since we've taken a look at a SkyTech PC and they were nice enough to sponsor this video so we could show you guys some of the PCs they have to offer. And yeah, this one's available on Amazon with Prime Shipping, which is always an added plus. And uh, yeah, let's just not waste any more time. Open this thing up and see what's inside. This man's a threat. All right, so opening up the SkyTech Blaze 2, the actual specific model, in case anyone wants to know, the product is the ST Blaze 20412B-NE. There you go. <laughs> but we have an i5 10400F, 6 core 12 thread, non integrated graphics, that's what the F means. RTX 3050, which is a. RTX 3050. How many gigs are? Five, 8 gig. 8 gig. 8 card. gig. 8 gig. Yeah, I, I was thinking 3050. 3050 Ti is 4 gigs, but we got the normal 3050, which, fun fact, is better than the 3050 Ti. What, what was Nvidia doing? I don't really know. It looks like we got. Is this a single, single little antenna there? Hmm. Oh, no, the other one fell. Uh, My arms were not quite skinny enough for that, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, it looks like it came with like a little, a little folder here. Wow, I like that folder. It's definitely a step above what we do, but we got like a nice business card there. With customer support, a quick start guide. Um, but we do this, you know, like nice little checklist and everything. Uh, maintenance guide. That's actually cool. Very smart. And then, oh, look at oh, the flow chart. Flow, flow chart? charts are smart. That's Very smart. next level. But we also definitely nice for people who, you know, they want to get it going um, right when they, when they get to their house, right? Most people have like a TV or a monitor, but a lot of people don't have a keyboard and mouse. Although I think this is just, just a keyboard. Which is, is there a weird. mouse in there somewhere? Maybe there is. Um, yep, there is. Okay. So we get like this kind of, it's kind of like Gandhi style and like real OEM style, but they kind of make it a little custom, their logo and everything. But yeah, it probably is like RGB backlit, but it's probably just one static RGB throughout the system. So not really RGB. Now for the mouse, okay, it fell deeper in there. Where's, 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 yeah, we're gonna pull the little computer out at this point. But uh, yeah, for the mouse, I'm imagining it's probably gonna be something similar, kind of just like a you know cheap little gaming mouse, something that's better than OEM. I mean, because when you buy a gaming computer, the last thing you want is like a generic like HP or Dell keyboard. You know, you want something that looks a little fancy. So now that we got the computer out. There's the mouse. Show you guys the mouse real quick while we're at this unboxing experience. Yeah, looks like we have um, pretty nice looking actually. We got two macros in the side. Once again, some lighting, a DPI switch, and I like the scroll wheel. Feels really good. Definitely nice that they include peripherals. That's always like, it's really nice if you don't know that you're getting peripherals with it. Cause you know, it's not like we sit here and do a lot of research and stuff before we do sponsored videos. <laughs> we just go for it because that's the fun of it. So we got our two Wi-Fi antennas, mouse, keyboard, quick start guide. Here is a hard drive bay bracket for a standard hard drive that you can slide in there. Um, they probably just left it out because cable management makes it a little easier to do that. And most people aren't gonna be adding a hard drive these days to a system like this. But as far as the unboxing experience goes, it's pretty good so far. We got the uh, OEM case box with the OEM plastic over it. So definitely the the same way we'd like to do things around here nice little compact build custom case that's a big advantage of a lot of these um somewhat larger pre-book companies is you get you know a nice custom brand and, and branded brandon brandon who's brandon Brandon. branded cases so sky tech gaming we have tempered glass in the front we got two rgb fans and we got uh, one more in the back. So pretty typical for like a MicroTix case. You got your two intakes, one exhaust. They actually did do the foam packing on the inside. I didn't Even realize for, one thing here. What is the, oh, it popped out. Let's make sure it still works. Make sure it didn't like, it's not completely stripped out. Might, it might be stripped out. Might have broken it. We'll see. Let's just go ahead and get this other one off and get our little packing out. Yeah, these are really, you know what? These aren't even the same screw. I don't know. I just thought no. it was missing up top, so. That's really weird. Yeah, so there's, yeah, these are two like, just like totally different thumb screws. So, huh. I don't know. Kind of strange. But um, I'm not going to sit here and hold that super against them because I can't say that we've always used the same exact screws perfectly. You know, sometimes stuff like that happens. But it would be nice to make sure once we get this packing foam out, I'll see if it'll close with both screws. If not, I mean, I guess we'll take away one point. We don't really have a point system, but we'll take away one. <laughs> Let's make sure that the inside showed up safe though. So this stuff is pretty amazing. It definitely, I mean, look, it literally fits to the graphics card. Um, so you don't have to worry about the graphics card bouncing up and down. Um, so we have a, speaking of Gomdius, Gomdius Power Supply. This is the Helios P1600G. So that's an 80 plus gold. Where it's at in the tier list, I would assume probably like C-ish, maybe even lower though. Even though it's 80 plus gold, that, you know, doesn't always mean a whole lot. Now, one thing that I got taking a point off yeah. for with our point system is they do have this bottom open for ventilation, but then the 
actual power supply fan is facing up, meaning that rather than pulling air from, I guess it'd be up through here and then out the back, making it like its own circuit, it is now pulling um, hot air from the system into the power supply and then out the back or vice versa. Regardless, it's not a, a way you normally would do it, but it's you're not gonna see any performance effect from it, so. Which is a different strange way. Of it, it is, it's like, it's one of those things where there's gonna be some enthusiast in the comment section that are gonna be like really upset about this. Matt and I don't really care. Yeah, just something to learn from. It looks like we have an MSI 500 gig um, M390. You don't see MSI uh, SSDs too often, but they're usually pretty good. Uh, we do really like these Eagle cards. This is a um, RTX 3050 Eagle, eight gig GDDR6. Pretty good card. We really like the 3050. There is sacrifices. One stick of team group, and I assume it's 3200 megahertz. It's a Vulcan stick, yeah. 3200 megahertz, um, DDR4. Were the specs different from what? Something's a little fishy here, because yeah, this box- It actually... is eight gigs only. Oh, it is. Okay, so the box says 16 right here. The is listing they sent us was eight, so. Yeah, so I don't know, maybe a wrong sticker, who knows? I don't know at this point, but I mean, honestly, the fact that the listing says eight, that's definitely good. So plug yeah. it up and see what the looks RGB good. looks like. Yeah, let's see what it looks like. All right, so what we'll do, we'll go ahead and plug it in first. And uh, you know, if something happens to be unplugged, we're taking off the back anyways. You so. raise the table up a little bit too. Yeah. And we'll go ahead and make sure our power switch is flipped on. Go ahead and press this. Purple! Yep, looks like all of our fans are working. Let's see if we can change the lighting. Oh yeah, we can. Looking pretty good. They use some nice fans. We got like the ring and we have lighting from the middle. That's always, you know, costs a little bit extra. So that's nice to see. So now we got RGB. Um, we are going to remove this. So this sticker back here, for all of you um, new people at home, they basically are just trying to tell you here, yes, you can use all of this, but don't use this right here, because if you do that, you're not gonna get display out because look at this, you got four display outs down here for the actual, from the graphics card. Now see what I like to do is just take this and go like that and now look. It's not even gonna get used. So yeah, four display outs, you get have four monitors. It uh, looks like we have a few display port, um, one HDMI or two HDMI. Yeah, I mean, everything looks good on here. Let's take a look at the back real quick. It definitely looks like some cables might not be great in the back, but we'll see. Oh no, that's actually really good. Wow, flip it I was, Well, you could see cables through the side. Oh wow. So I was like, yeah. oh, it's gonna be kind of disorganized, but no, they actually, whoever built this did a really good job. So yeah, really the only takeaways from this, Matt and I were wrong about, you know, the box for some reason said uh, 16 gigs, but the listing was eight. So that's not a problem. It is, as a piece of advice, we always recommend going dual channel. We know it costs a little bit more, but if you can, you know, charge 10 bucks more for the actual listing, it is way more worth it to, once you buy this, upgrade it, add another eight gig stick so you have dual channel 16 or just pay an extra five to 10 bucks, you know, from the company if you can to try to get a second stick. It'll actually give you 10 to 30 more FPS in most games. And on top of that, eight gigs, uh, Warzone, a lot of other games with like these good specs, like a 3050 and an i5. I wouldn't be surprised if you add another eight gig stick if you were utilizing 12 gigs plus and just playing Warzone. That's not even mentioning, this has an NVIDIA NVENC on it, so you could stream with this PC, but not with eight gigs, not in single channel eight gigs. It wouldn't be very fun. And then the only other thing is this power supply. We would flip it upside down. Once again, not the biggest deal. It's still gonna work about the exact same, just enthusiasts might be upset. So yeah, what we're gonna go ahead and do is load up some games like we do here and run it through some benchmarks and uh, yeah, get some kills in some video games. Let's do it. All right, guys, we are playing Apex Legends to start this off, and we are at high FOV. Basically, a mixture of, I would say, high medium settings, 1080p, of course, because you know you don't really want to push this to 4K, especially not in a AAA title, because um, that's just not really what it's designed to do. But I think we're gonna have um, a pretty good experience here. We're already getting like 100 plus FPS, and obviously, if you lowered the settings some more, you could maybe even get, um, you know, more increased settings from there. So definitely not bad. Oh God. Oh, yeah, dude, and I'm clapping cheeks. Nice. Ooh, Ooh, where did they come from? How did it not block the door? It always sucks when you lose a teammate, especially when the game hasn't even started yet. All right, we got a full team now, guys, so I'm hoping for some uh, success this time. Oh, me with that nade. Just oh. fucking die already. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, oh, man. man. Oh man. Oh, oh man. man. All right. Whoa, they used our totem? Oh no. That wow. got punched. That got punched to death, dude. That was fun. I mean, hey, but it ran good, so that's always good. It yeah. doesn't, doesn't make me a better player or 
you know, better teammates, but you know. I mean, Apex runs whatever. good. I mean, that's a good, good game to maybe play. Maybe you also like in Fortnite. Maybe, maybe. Let's you don't have that. to rely on teammates. You know, yeah. you're good to go. All right, guys, we are now in good old Fortnite, and Jackson's in front of the camera. Here we go. But yeah, Fortnite is a game that obviously a lot of people want to play on PC, and getting like the SkyTech system would be good for that. And uh, we'll see what the frame rate is once we actually land. But we are running on performance mode, which is basically the lowest settings you can go with, but it's mainly designed for people who want to play Fortnite competitively and get the most FPS possible and don't really care too much about the visual quality. This looks like a scary place to drop. There are people everywhere. This guy's Whoa. coming for me. He's a jetpack. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't even know how much Fortnite game they actually had because I was sitting there talking about something that's probably not even going in the video. It's All right, nice. Fortnite take two. We're actually gonna drop into Tilted Towers and probably die within two seconds as well. And then the gameplay is just gonna be short and you're all just gonna have to deal with it. But I'm going to Tilted because I'm feeling a little tilted today. Is he gonna like the average player count? Oh, he's building. Oh! You have to hide in the trash can. I don't think it's gonna work now. It's the only way. Oh! You can't hide in the trash can now. He broke it. He destroyed the trash can, but he's trash! The grenade? Oh, yeah. that's what he was shooting inside. Oh, does it like let you know where people are at? Yeah, it doesn't. Well, he Dr. didn't know what to do. He, he didn't just got doctor disrespected. Oh, got him. All right, well, the performance is there. It's great. Just reloaded. Did I kill everyone in Tilted? I own Tilted Towers. Oh, you're getting shot from behind? Oh, this is this is scary, scary. <laughs> Did I get meds? Oh, uh, no, I guess he, he has no saw meds. A med now this guy's gonna come at me, he's like, he's distracted. Got a lot of materials, that seems like you can make a really tall staircase. All right, I'm done, I quit. Next game. All right, guys, we are playing Halo Infinite. We are at max field of view, 1920 by 1080, all low settings. And we're gonna see what this thing can do. So Halo Infinite is a game that's so high end that it pretty much requires you to have at least four gigs of VRAM and a relatively modern GPU along with some, some good RAM. Because as you can see, we're already using um, seven, seven and a half gigs and we're not even doing anything else in the background. I have not played SWAT in a while. I was confused, I'm like, man, I had full health and that guy just like one tapped me, what's up with that? Key word, that guy has cat ears. I'm scared, I'm just, like scared to pee around, do I keep doing like one tap? Anyone? Definitely looking good, low settings. If you wanted to be able to get like um, higher settings, you know, go with the slightly higher inversion. Why does punching instant kill? <laughs> <laughs> like what's even the point of having a gun, dude? No! I'm definitely out of my SWAT element for sure though. Dude, what are these guys? My goodness. Well, we got defeat. No, that was not a good game, man. That was, whew, I was in third place with like six kills. Or second place, I mean. So yeah, not great, but Halo looked good. All right guys, the last game we'll be testing is Forza Horizon 5 using the built-in benchmark on the medium preset and so far it's looking pretty good. I mean, 80 FPS, 80 to 85. I was worried that the RAM situation might hold this thing back a little bit, but it's looking like this thing is more than capable of gaming at 60 plus FPS. Yeah, let's let this benchmark continue to run and we'll get an actual average and then we'll just wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we ended up with an average of 82 FPS. Overall, again, this PC is trying to target a 3050 build with a all right, guys, as you can tell, we got an average of 82 FPS. Overall, I think this PC has a place in the market, obviously. It's trying to target a um, audience where, you, where someone really wants an RTX 3050 but doesn't want to spend over a grand, and that's what some systems are going for nowadays. So you're getting a pretty good price performance system that is upgradable in the future. So yeah, 82 FPS. Really happy that SkyTech was nice enough to sponsor the showcase. Let's go ahead and wrap this video up real quick. And we want to give a big thanks to Intel for also sponsoring today's video and allowing us to showcase their awesome i5-10400, which is a go-to budget option that we like to use here at the Toasty Bros, and also makes this SkyTech gaming PC just that much more awesome. So big thanks again to Intel for sponsoring this showcase. So we just got done benchmarking the SkyTech PC. Once again, thanks to them for sending this over, and we were pretty impressed with it. I mean, for the price, you really can't beat it right now, especially in this current pre-built versus building your own market. It's pretty crazy to see certain pre 
pre-built companies that are actually able to, well, make a pre-built and sell it and get it to your door for not much more than you could do it yourself for. And SkyTech is also nice enough to hook you guys up with a discount code if you check the link down below. It is an affiliate link, but it does also help you guys out by saving a little bit of money when you purchase this PC. Big thanks again to them for sponsoring this showcase of their PC and definitely check those links down below. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And if you guys didn't know, we're also very prevalent on these social medias. We got TikTok, we got Twitter, we got Instagram, we got Facebook. We pretty much have every social media known to man. I need you all to go to our TikTok and comment and tell McAllister to stop making TikToks about cardboard PCs because that's it's getting all out he of does. Control. It's getting, getting out of insane. Go to our TikTok. See you guys later. Goodbye.